Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Chip Walters here again, uh, doing another tutorial using my favorite web design tool called Webflow. And today we're going to talk about using the row and column tool versus using the flex tool. So uh, let's get started. Let me show you what I'm going to talk about. Let's look at uh, this particular website I finished recently. This is a CMS with a blog. Each one of these is a uh, uh, is a CM a content management entry. Uh, you can't use rows and columns with this, which is a little more frustrating, especially if you're trying to do something like this where you want to shoot, go from three columns to two columns to one column. So that's a very difficult thing to do. You can't use the row and column. You actually have to use flex. I'm going to show you the same thing here. Three columns, two columns, one column. So there we have it. So let's go, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, drag in a container and I want to make that container uh, 100 pixels tall and I want to make it white and I want to give it a little bit of a kind of a margin down below so this is kind of gives at least we understand how wide the page is right that's 940 pixels so now that that's done I want to basically go in and I'm going to add another container down below it and in that container, I want to add the row and column tool, right? So, so the way this works is you can set it up for three, two, and one. So if I say three right here, and uh, then let's just uh, actually let's go back and say three, and I want to make it let's go two, five, and five. So you're you know, and I want to grab a picture. Let's drag a picture. Drag one picture in here. Let's drag some text. Poly, uh, here into here. Copy this and put it in here. So, so you can kind of see that things are lining up nicely. If I go into this paragraph, and I'm going to change the background color of it to something like, like blue. Let's see. We'll do the same with this one. Let's uh, okay go in here, and I'll change the background color of it to the same blue. Okay, so we're we're kind of uh, you know this this is all lining up correctly. If I look at my X-ray now. I'm sorry. You see the row is actually sticking outside, right? So sticking outside the actual, that's the row. If we look at the container, the container is actually inside that. So the row is uh, sticking outside a little bit. And that's how it basically does. It uses some padding inside the containers to get things to line up correctly. So now that we have that done, let's turn this off. And uh, let's talk about, the next thing I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about containers, right? So, um, I want to create the same kind of thing using flex and containers. I'm going to do this rather quickly because I'll get to the I'll get to the the, the the what I call the meatball here in a second. But I don't like containers, and this is the reason why. Let's first go in here. Let's take this container. I'm going to add a, a little bit of margin here, so move down. So this is the container. I'm going to add a quick div uh, in here. This is the div block. I'll call this div uh, t. This is called div t, and let's copy it and paste it and paste it. So we have three disks. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm going to take this image um, and that image just fit that space. So I'm going to just take Ctrl C, stick it into here. Uh, and you see it's really big. <laughs> but we'll fix that in just a second. Uh, I'll take this image right here, or this this, this text, Ctrl C, put it in here, and put it, put it in there. So now we have this. So now I'm going to basically go outside of that, take that container, and we're going to turn it into a flex. And it's going left to right. And you can see that that's what it's done. I'm going to leave it at the default settings. I might push this up here like this. And I might, if I'm using those, uh, I might I might actually use this justify mode also. Uh, for this particular thing, it's not going to matter that much. Um, because I'm going to manually set each one of these up. But let's go ahead and look at, at uh, this. So I'll go in the image. I'm going to grab that div T right here. And I'm going to look at it. And, and if you look, if you remember what we did up here, You'll remember that uh, there in this row, we have two, five, and five. So that's the percentage or the proportion. The first is, is two of 12. It's five and five and two is 12. So it's two twelfths for the first column, five twelfths for the second column, five twelfths for the third column. That's the percentages of, of the, the widths of these columns. So I want to do the same thing here in this flex box. So I'm going to go in here. And uh, I'll take that first div T, and I'll go to this advanced little gear button right here. 
and so now I know that I want to, let's just make 100%, let's make it 100%, so, so these are all div T's, so they're all going to, when I change one, it changes all of them, that's 1200%, doesn't matter, I just, so what I want to do is I know that first one is 2 twelfths, so if I, if I say 2 divided by 12, you'll see, that's no good, that's way too small, that's, because 0.17% is not right, I need to actually multiply that by 100, so it's 2 times 100 divided by 12. Now notice I can do this all in that little in this little area right here. Two by divided by twelve, one hundred divided by twelve, right? So I've got that one done. So I'm gonna to go to this one, the next one, grab that one. I'm gonna give it a combo class. I'll just use A. And I'm gonna say that was five. So it's five times one hundred divided by twelve. Okay, there we have that. And then we'll go to this one and we'll grab paragraph uh, this and I'm gonna say combo I'm gonna make a combo class B, and that's gonna be five times one hundred divided by 12. So now you can see that we've got roughly the same thing. We don't have any, the problem is we don't really have any, 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 uh, uh, any of the, the, the padding, right? So, so let's go ahead and let's try and fix that. So I'll go into this div and if I change the padding on this div to 10, it'll get it for all the others because they're all part of a common. So there, there it is. So now I've got it right. But the problem is now, as you can tell, uh, we, you know, we're still not quite right. This line doesn't line up with this. And, and, and so what I really need to do is I need to go back to the container. Because if we look at, let's look at, let's go ahead and look at the, if you notice the container, the row here extends outside the container. So if I can actually add the margin to the container, then I can get this to all line up right. But guess what? It's a container. Webflow automatically handles the container margins to make it fit different devices. So, that's why I don't like containers. So let's go ahead and, and we're going to fix this by going in and using a div block instead of a container. So I'm going to go ahead and add the div block there. Uh, let's go ahead and get that container first. And let's just, for the heck of it, add some, add some space in it. Okay, so once we've done that, I can kind of go in here and I can take each, uh, or I can go in this div block and I can set it up. Uh, the width is, we know, is 940. And let's give it a, a height of 100 just for so we can see it and let's center it so now now there's our div block let's call it i'm going to call this uh div uh flex wrapper flex wrapper okay so and now let's see if i can just basically go into here and i'm going to take i'm going to close these off and, and copy them we'll just take them we'll say uh, let's go to the flex wrapper and i'm going to set that to flex first okay we'll just leave it like this and that okay so that's that flex layout i, I think I'll, I'll, I'll just copy and paste this control c control v control oh, oops undo where am i um, i don't want rows i want divs control c control v control c Control V, Control C, Control V. Okay, so as we said earlier, we had a problem with this. We couldn't actually extend the actual margins on this, or even make it any wider on this particular container, right? We just there's no way to, to edit that. Webflow automatically handles that. But with this new with this new div, the new div flex wrapper, we just come in here and we say 960, right? And now because it's 960. We added 10 pixels on either side. We're going to line this thing exactly up with the one above it, right? So if I go into this, let's go to that container. Let's hide him. We can see that now we're lined up perfectly. And that's that's really good news. So that's the reason why I like containers. Now let's talk about why Flexbox works so much better than these rows here. So for one thing, if I come in here and I go into the, let's just go into some of these rows and I say, let's give me two columns, right? So let's do, nah, you know what? Uh, okay, we'll I don't like that. I'm going to go back to three columns. So I go back to three columns. I lost all my previous settings. I lost all the content in that last column. So I need to get, actually, let's go ahead and turn off our x-ray mode again. Control C, uh, Control V. So we'll put those back over there. Uh, and then, of course, I, I, I still got to go back to these settings. And I have to go and say, okay, let's go ahead and, uh, oops. Yeah, let's, 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 let's go back to the, the 
255. So that's one reason. So another reason is that let's let's go ahead. I'm going to hide this this uh, flex wrapper for a second real quick, and let's just go ahead and look at this. We might like that in this view. We might want to make this a little bigger. So let's go ahead and say, okay, I want to make that a little bigger. So let's let's go in here, and I want to say I want to make that maybe three. Okay, then I want to split the difference. Well, I can't. I got four and five. I I get one or the other. I don't get. I can't split the difference there. So that kind of that didn't I don't like the way that works right so that's not gonna that's not gonna not gonna work but let's say that we uh, we decide to go okay instead of that let's just go to four four and four so that looks a little bit now let's go back to our main guess what they're all four so that they're four four and four so those settings like unlike a lot of the other webflow settings do not are not saved with the actual responsive layout so Anytime you change them anywhere, you're changing them everywhere, right? The only thing you can do is go over here into this row and say, on this particular portrait one, I want it to go vertical. So I can either show them all three side by side or vertical. Well, what if I want to stack this one, this one over here below this one, have this one fake take these two, these two rows and put this other one down below it or full below it? Can't do it. Just cannot do it. So that's the challenge, right? So that's that's one of the big challenges with rows. But let's go ahead and show you how we can do that. With Flexbox, so I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to take my my Flex wrapper and let's go ahead and turn him back on. So, oops, he's forgot he's. So, and let's go back here and let's set him to two, four, and f or five and five. There we are. Okay, so so this is what we have. So let's go here. Okay, now we said we wanted this to be a little larger. And you can see that our numbers are, are quite a bit quite a bit higher here. So if I look at this uh, row, uh, I've got a base or not the row, but the uh, container. That's the size that I need to I need to make it. So let's go back to my my flex wrapper instead of 960. We're going to make it 800. Actually, I think it's 750. We need yeah. So we've got 750. So this this particular setup is 750. Maybe we should get all these the same way. Let's go here. This one is, let's go there. Um, that's 100%. That's 100% of the width. And I think it, no, it doesn't, it doesn't stay that way. I think it's just, yeah, I think it just, it just modifies. So, but let's just go ahead and we'll move it there. And uh, this column has got like a 10 pixel side. So let's just go ahead and adjust this to, to kind of match that. The flex wrapper will make it. Uh, this is going to be 568 Oops. for that. Sorry, 568. There, that gives us that. So that's our flex wrapper for that. Let's go over here, and this is going to be 320. Okay, so again, we're going to go back. Let's go back to. So we've got that flex wrapper set up so it matches everything. So we're going to go back here. We're going to make this bigger. We talked about wanting to make this bigger last time. So let's go to this uh, uh, and grab that div T and instead of 16%. Let's make it. Let's make it 30%. 30%. And then that means we'll make these. So that loses 30% or uh, uh, 35, 35 and 35 because 35 and 35, 70 plus 30 is 100. So. So there you go. So that that's kind of neat. So I've gone from a smaller layout here, something a little bigger there. Uh, if I go to here, I can see that, well, maybe at this point, and let me go ahead and, and grab this container here, this flex wrapper, and let's add a little, little space on the bottom. Oops. Height is, oh. 100 percent I'll just do that so now this is gives us a little room underneath here so uh, I want this to I, I want these now to be this one to actually fill both of these spaces so this we know this one was we said this was 30 percent so that means this one needs to be 70 percent right so let's take that and make it 70 percent and that kind of it makes a squishes this one but what i really want to do is i want to go to this flex wrapper 
and do this thing called wrap children right here so it sticks it right down there so now I've got this where I want it now I want this to go the full width so I'll go into here and make him 100% so now I've got that nice wrap that I that, that I wanted to create now you might say well wait wait a minute what if I I want to actually put I, I would like to put this lined up right underneath here so how do we do that so the way we do that it's, it's uh, pretty easy actually I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna go back into my into my uh, flex wrapper and I'm gonna create a new div I'm gonna stick it at the very bottom okay and he is gonna actually go over one so he's right there he's at the end of that and I'm gonna I'm gonna put him between these two right there and I'm gonna call him div spacer something like that I don't call it spacer or whatever and I'm gonna turn him off I hide him so he's not there so he doesn't show up here doesn't show up here doesn't even show up show up down here but it what if we turn him on down here ah there he is so let's go ahead and set his settings up and we're gonna make him 30 percent and we're gonna take this one and we're gonna make him 70 percent and now as we can see it all lines up perfectly so I hope this helps uh, at least it helped me to understand the value of using flexbox instead of rows and columns also the value of using divs instead of containers I just will never use containers again because they're just not flexible enough hope this helps thanks